Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got an interesting shake as the top quake of the day. We'll see the hyperspectral results of the leaf year project, and we've got an excellent revision of Belkin's solar economics study as well. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where we find a pretty quiet day. Solar flaring is low, eruptive activity is low, but we have several items to monitor as large filaments and a complex sunspot group are turning in to face the Earth. Some good news is that the solar wind is basically back down into normal range and has been there for about a day. And today happens to be the first day we can report 24 straight hours of no geomagnetic storm conditions. Finally back to full quiet. We'll zoom in a bit here on those plasma filaments in southern bright active region. By tomorrow, these will be positioned to eject towards the Earth if they get active. We've got eyes on them. Up next, folks, it's odd that 5.0 was the largest quake of the day, but the most interesting among them on this quiet stretch came in second place, 4.8 Nevada. Not really normal to get quakes in that zone there. Interesting. Up next, eye candy as the hyperspectral results of leaf year are out and well, they're pretty, I'll say that. We're basically looking at leaf production and life cycle over a 12-month period. At the link below, you have individual zones of the Earth and the global view here. Okay, this is actually pretty impressive, isn't it? And also, just plain pretty. Top story of the day, we're back to Belkin. Slight revisions and corrections to his major paper from several months ago, doubling down on the 2025 recession in the second half of this year, and adding that we should see one in 2031 as well. But I'll add that if sunspot maximum drops out quickly, that is likely to get pushed up to about 2030. It's the year after maximum or minimum. That's when the economy has the highest chance for trouble. Folks, Dome Workshop this weekend at the ranch. I'll be out there tomorrow. Pole Shift Conference next weekend. Prepper events the weekends after that. The conference repeats monthly with new updates. And don't forget, Observer Speed Dating end of July. Time to find your Prepper Princess or Post-Apocalyptic Warlord. Tactical Training start of August. Lots happening at Observer Ranch the rest of the year. We can't wait to see you. It all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.